Welcome. This is the Trader Genius Daily Stock Option Review for March 10th, 2020. I'm Scott. I'm your host. We're here to show you that pretty much every day there's an opportunity to make some money uh, trading stock options. We're not here to teach you how. That's uh, in our courses, which you can find in the description. And uh, we'll give you a 30-day free trial to try out the uh, software to see if it works as well as we suggest that it does and uh, we'll also give you a coach who will help you because you need to have the knowledge you need to have the proper equipment and tools and um, you need to have somebody to work with you to speed up that whole process uh, these have been typically about 10 minutes long i'm going to try and go a little bit faster get them done maybe in eight minutes uh, so that we've kind of compressed everything in although from time to time I just talk a bit about, you know, sort of the philosophy behind it. Anyway, here we are. It's uh, about 10 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time, Eastern Daylight Time. There's been a lot of volume, but everything is kind of in around no man's land. This orange thing kind of peaked out here on RCL, and then it uh, went back in, went back out. Uh, the market has been pretty flat. This is the basket down here at the bottom. And so we're just going to be moving ahead. These are five three minute candles and uh, kind of see what happens. A little bit of a green bar, but we're uh, not touching it. It's no man's land. And of course, it reverses right away. And uh, now we're getting close to the previous low. We have no indicators saying that this is the way we should go. Uh, okay, now we're getting some indicators. Are we going to break through? We break through. We're going to buy a put almost set a call and let's just see how she goes lots of volume which tends to suggest the beginning or end of a run a little bit of a reversal still showing red the basket is red we're red we've made a little bit of money not a lot it's a very cyclical day and that's what's happening in the market generally speaking we're seeing lots of, uh, of movement and um, we're continuing to drop down, not really seeing. We're below the previous low. Doesn't look like there's anything to stop us. We've gone through another major uh, uh, floor or ceiling. We're continuing to drop like a rock. And we're uh, uh, now it's late. We're starting to see a little bit of resistance. Not sure that there's much further that we can go. We're at oh, a little bit more, a little bit more. Now this is where it turns into a horse race. We're look at how far it's gone, and I'm going to be sitting here, and my emotions are going to take over. Everything is red, and I'm going to be going more, more, more. Come on, baby, just one more percentage, one more percentage. And when I do that, I know one thing for sure. Regardless of what happens, it's time for me to get out. And of course, I love to see what would happen if I had stayed in. Did I, uh, did I push the button a little bit too soon? Probably, don't forget our buddy Warren Buffett. He always says, get in too late and got out too soon. Uh, I definitely got out too soon. Holy smokes. And it really was nothing, well, now there is, but before that, there really was nothing. We had massive volume spikes. We had a massive move down. Uh, is this green candle the green candle of reversal in which case I'm going to give back a lot of my <coughs> pardon me a lot of my profits if I had kept stayed in yep so we got out a few candles too soon and it changed to five minute candles by the way uh, but you know what that's okay because I'll take that uh, you know 40 odd percent that we made 43.6% any day of the week. Now, I have to tell you, we're in a market situation where it is flying up and flying down. We've lost 20, 30% of the value of the market. That move, when it goes down, is fast, and that's why we were able to make, and we've been making such amazing uh, profits on our trades. This doesn't mean it'll be like this forever, and you have to understand that there are different markets, but we're in a market right now that is huge, uh, in terms of fluctuations, and uh, that's uh, that's what we've got right now. So now we're going to take a quick look at Adobe, if I can find it. Here we go. 
and we're going to move ahead to about 12, well, about 15 minutes. Okay, so here we are, and you can see with Adobe, same story. It's been in no man's land, so you, there's nothing to trade, nothing to trade. It's peaked its way out, come back. Uh, the market has gone through a red thing, uh, a red move, a down move, and uh, we're back in no man's land. This is all technical trading. We don't know what the news is. We don't care. All we want to do is skim a little bit off. So here we are. Uh, we've peaked our head above. And that's uh, the first time I think we've been above the no man's land. And uh, the basket itself is also green. It's looking pretty good. I would say, let's just see if this one is green. Yep. All right. So we're going to do the opposite of what we did. With uh, We're going to buy a call. And we're going to start moving forward and see uh, see what happens. Well, it's looking pretty nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That. Are we still? We're going up against the previous high. Are we going to hit it? Are we going to go through it? and we're playing with it we're playing with it and boom we're through it now there's probably very little that's going to stop us from going up except that we're going down and there we go up again up again we're 24 and we've had a few indicators telling us to get out we the volume has dropped off um, we're at 28 percent so I could take the money and run I'm gonna go one more uh, okay I'm out went one too many I didn't follow the rules well maybe uh, if I'd have hung in another one it would have gone back up and it did so I maybe got out too soon and I did there it's it's over so I got in the bottom of the too soon. <laughs> but you know what? That's 19% is nothing to sneeze on. And remember, our goal is 10%, right? And it's a little bit longer than 10 minutes, obviously. It's almost an hour uh, for both of the trades. But uh, I'll stay in an hour if I can get uh, 20 to 40%. All right, so we are at uh, noon, 1 o'clock. This uh, this day had a big green move at the end of the day, and we're going to take a look at MCD. There it is. All right, and we're going to move forward about an hour, I think, to 2:30. We're at 1:30. We're going to go just before 2:30. All right. So this is another one where you can see spent a lot of time in the no man's land and then it kind of went down, up, down, up. A very cyclical day. It's great for trading. It's a strong red day and above average volume day. So it's been a good market so far. There's no clear direction. It's a trending day. The program tells you all sorts of stuff that you need to know, which means that you can go up and you can go down and see what happens. So let's do that. Let's uh, move ahead and see if we see anything that uh, okay we've got a green signal the mar the basket is also green that's our second green candle our third green candle so we are buying a call and going to see what happens uh, of course it slows down oh there's a good move now we have a previous high are we going to bounce against it no we've gone through it okay there we yeah and we're still above it and of course, whenever you hit something like this, it's going to kind of go up and down. It's going to be thinking about, do I really want to go ahead or not? And we've got no reason to think that it doesn't want to go ahead. And, well, this is looking pretty good. We're in the last hour, so I'm starting to think that I should get out of here before the market closes on me because I don't want to be stuck with this overnight. Oh. Well. This is a little bit of a oh big move, big volume. 
oftentimes we think uh, this is excess volume this purple at the bottom so usually there's excess volume at the beginning or the end of a trend so I don't know that this is the end I can't see the future uh, but I'm going to say 45 percent is lots thank you very much and just to move forward a little bit yeah there's a little bit more well yeah, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. This is the horse race, right? But now it's nine minutes to closing. So, I mean, could you get your, of course you could get it filled, but who wants to take the chance of staying overnight? Another big jump in volume. Everybody's probably getting out. Oh, I'm at four o'clock. Let me go back just a little bit. There we go. All right, four minutes to go. So we're out. It was another uh, beautiful day to be trading stock options. And we did Adobe, 19.3%, MCD, 44.9%, RCL at 43.8%. Okay, so just to show you this, these are the uh, shares, stocks that we follow. There's just a small number. There's like 55,000 or 5,500, if not more. Uh, tr you know traded but do they have good options do they have liquidity do they have what it takes to get in and get out can they make money is the spread too much all those sort of things and these all fit those criteria the software figures it out for you so I know that if I trade these I can get in and I can get out generally speaking without uh, much problem and uh, yeah, so they're liquid and they also so lots of volume lots of movement all that sort of good stuff and they're going to move generally enough to make it worthwhile to buy and sell. And that's what happened today. So thanks for joining me, everybody. Please uh, like and subscribe and share with your friends. Uh, and uh, we'll see you next time.